Greetings and welcome to the Astronomy Picture of the Day podcast. Today's picture for September 18th of 2024 is titled the Mermaid Nebula Supernova Remnant. So what do we see here? Well, here is a portion of a supernova remnant, sometimes known as the Mermaid Nebula for its unusual shape. And it's actually just a portion of the supernova remnant in fact part of it and there's another part as well not imaged here and the supernova remnant is what is left over after a star explodes and at the end of the life of a very massive star something much more massive than our own sun it will become unstable Essentially, what a star does is fuse lighter elements into heavier elements. But there's a limit to that process where you can gain energy. And that limit is iron. Iron is not able to gain any energy by fusing it together. So if you fuse two hydrogen atoms together, you gain a little bit of energy by creating helium. If you fuse two iron atoms together, you can do that, but it takes energy. So it ends up sucking energy out of the center of the star, which then implodes as it tries to continue to produce energy to support its massive weight. So instead, it implodes and then it rebounds back out, expelling material out into space, such as what we see here in the Mermaid Nebula today. Now, when we look at this nebula, we're seeing all of the different tendrils of material that has spread out through space and then interacts with itself and with other material in the interstellar medium, creating shock waves. This helps to energize the material that we see. So here we're looking at two specific wavelengths. We're looking at the red light of hydrogen gas. We can see that scattered around specific areas of the nebula. But we also see the blue is oxygen. So and it's not just ordinary oxygen, but it's oxygen that has been ionized twice, meaning that it has two electrons stripped off of it. And each ionization state of an atom produces a different set of spectral lines and different colors. So in this case, we're seeing ionized oxygen with two electrons removed here. So because of the intense energy going on with the supernova explosion, then that is still this is still energetic enough to be able to have oxygen that has been ionized that has had those electrons ripped off of it. So we see that a lot in these nebulae, the intense energy will strip electrons off of some atoms, especially ones where the electrons are not as tightly bound to the central nucleus. And those outer two electrons of oxygen are the ones that tend to interact in forming chemical bonds, and therefore are the most easy ones to remove. So that allows us to see structures such as we look at here in the mermaid nebula. Now we see it not only in visible light, but it's also been studied in x rays, which is how it was discovered, and is also studied in radio and gamma rays. So looking at all of those gives us a more complete picture of what might be happening in this supernova remnant. So that was our picture of the day for September 18th of 2024. It was titled the Mermaid Nebula Supernova Remnant. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture. So until then, have a great day everyone, and I will see you in class.